So hello guys. Today we will be studying about Maynard operation sequence technique application. This is the episode 2 in the most series. In the episode 1 we have already studied about the concepts and the basics of most. Let's go to the next slide and in the next slide we are having sequence models that we have already studied in the episode 1 in which there are certain activities such as general move, control move and tool use. Let's go to the next slide and in the next slide we can find out that how to do it that is how to apply most. First of all we identify the operation that is the major activity or the process that is being done. In the method description the major activity is broken down into certain minor activities. In the sequence model like according to your uh, control move, general move and tool use we can identify which sequence model will prevail in the minor activity. Let's go to the next slide and in the next slide we can find out that there is frequency that is how many times your operation is being repeated. For the total TMU the total time period is calculated in TMUs and in the time in seconds we multiply that TMU by 0.036 seconds so as to get the total time in seconds. Let's go to the next slide and in this slide In this slide we have seen a video and in the next slide we are calculating the time period per operation. Let's see the major operation in this video was tightening operation. In the method description that is the minor activity that is taking place in which first we have written pick up the object and keep on the fixture. So for this, since the object lies within reach of the operator, so A has value 1, that is the action distance is 1, B is 0, as the operator doesn't go through any kind of body motion. G is gain control, since the object seems to be light, so G is 1. Similarly, A, as the, uh, the fixture lies within reach of the operator, so A is 1, B is 0, P placement, since the placement is to be done on the uh, fixture, so it requires certain kinds of alignment. So P has a value of 3 and A is 0, since the operator hasn't goes, never has to go anywhere, right? So pick up the screw and put in the object. So since the screws also lies within reach, so A is 1, B is 0, G is 1 since the screws are very light, A is 1 and B is 0 and placement since they are not to be aligned, they are just to be put on the object. So P is 1, A is 0. These operations are repeated 3 times. Now close the fixture with a time period of 0 0.5 seconds. Since this is a move controlled, so we have taken M as 3, X since the time period is 0 0.5 seconds. So X is 1 and I since the align it is aligned only on one place so I is 1. Similarly pulling the pneumatic driver, uh, screwdriver and tightening the screw is also a controlled move. So A is 1 since the pneumatic screwdriver is within reach B is 0 G since it is a uh, weighted object so G is 3. M is 1 since move controlled is 1, X is 1 since the time taken per screw tightening will be 0 0.5 seconds, I since it is aligned into one place so I is 1, A is 0. Now similarly like the third step, in the fifth step also similar operation happens so the value remains the same. Similarly. Open the clamp and pick the assembly and place it on the table. So for this as uh, the uh, placement 
thing where you have to place the object lies within re the reach so a is 1 b is 0 g is 1 similarly a is 1 b is 0 placement since that is to be aligned in a certain manner so p is 3 and a is 0 let's go to the next slide and calculate the frequency the tmus and the seconds so frequency since the first operation in this is repeated only one time so frequency is 1 similarly in the second step it is done three times so the frequency comes out to be 3 in the third step it is repeated only one time it is done only one time so its frequency is 1 so pulling the pneumatic driver and tightening the screws since the frequency is 1 so it is taken 1 similarly fourth and fifth step the frequency seems to be 1 so it these are taken 1 manpower since the operation was done by a single man so it is manpower 1 total TMUs how to calculate the total TMUs you have to add the indexes like a has 1 in the first step a has 1 g has 1 a has 1 p has 3 so it comes out to be 6 so 6 into 10 that is 60 60 will be your total TMUs right and to calculate the time in seconds you have to multiply this 60 by 0 0.036 to get the time in seconds similarly for the second step frequency is 3 but the total TMUs comes out to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 into 10 40 so for this total TMU will come out to be 40 into 3 that is 120 so by multiplying 120 by 0 0.036 you get 4.32 seconds as the time so similarly we'll be calculating the time period for all the activities and we'll be getting a total time period of 16.92 seconds now we come to an end of this lecture thanks for watching the episode 2 is completed We'll be coming up with the other videos that are related to other concepts of operations. In case you need some additional help in most, please comment in the comment section so that more videos could be made for this section. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.